A mother mysteriously vanishes, sparking several searches and leaving many in a small New Mexico city wondering if a crime was committed. And tonight there are even more questions. As News 13's Crystal Gutierrez started digging for answers, she uncovered something else missing in this missing person's case. We just don't know where it was put, but I will find it. We are determined that we will find it. A promise from a small city sheriff now tasked with finding out what happened to a missing mother of five and finding missing documents that could hold clues about her bizarre disappearance. We're going to have to start from scratch. We're going to have to re-interview anybody and everybody involved. We will go out to the property and we'll just basically start this investigation all over again. A bombshell in the case only discovered after we started asking Where's Lily? And you still look, you know, you look at the ditch and say, you know, is, is it possible? Is it, is it did, did she fall in here? April 15th, 2009, 33 year old Lily Lopez mysteriously vanishes from a small town just north of Socorro. Back then, her boyfriend Michael Quintana tells deputies they'd been drinking beer, got into an argument, and when he left, she was walking along a desolate ditch bank near the home they shared with their young daughter. When he returned, she was gone, but he didn't start looking for her until four days later and after Lily's oldest daughter calls him. I told her I thought she was with you guys. Quintana says while searching that ditch bank, he stumbles upon a possible clue. Then he calls the sheriff's department. He found her shoe. Probably right, right, right about this area. Now retired Deputy Shorty Vices says Quintana's theory gets even more detailed. And then he looks down and he said, "There's a, there's an indentation in the dirt. That's where she fell. And I it's know right it. Here? Yeah, right about here is where he said it happened. Okay. Did it look that way? Did it look like somebody could have fallen in? No. Deputies no. weren't taking any chances. Several times they drained miles of the ditches around Socorro County. Still, no Lily. One shoe found here on the ditch bank. Could Lily be wearing the other shoe? Detectives were about to find out. Quintana allows deputies and state police with cadaver dogs to search his property, saying he too wants to find Lily. But what he can't explain is what was found inside his Bronco, Lily's other shoe. When you opened up the hatch and you saw the shoe there, what did he tell you? Well, he said he didn't know how it got there. An accident, vanishing acts, or an act of crime that something Lily's five children are Absolutely. still asking. The idea that she's out there somewhere living her life selfishly just trying to get away is uh, it's kind of ludicrous because I know that she's not capable of it. Lily's oldest son Samuel says his mom's developmentally disabled and had substance abuse issues in her past. Four of the five kids put into foster care were adopted out. That does include Samuel who says her past doesn't matter. She's still his mom. I would ask that you guys you know dig dig, dig deep into your heart and if you know something just please call and tell us you know we we want to know what happened to our mom. And his pleas for tips are needed now more than ever. Remember the sheriff's promise? So I take full responsibility for the missing file. About two months ago, Sheriff William Armijo started another investigation, digging through the department, trying to find Lily's entire case file, which is mostly missing. Pictures of the search is gone. Documents of interviews can't be found. All that remains, a thin folder with the initial missing persons report and a documented statement. But who's to blame? This file had been pulled out by our undersheriff and he was reevaluating it. The now former undersheriff is the last person to fess up to taking the file months ago, but the sheriff doesn't know if documents were already missing when that happened. He didn't remember exactly to detail what was in there. He did remember seeing statements from the other agencies. There were some photographs in there, but beyond that, there wasn't a whole lot in that file due to the lack of evidence that was. Uh, obtained at the scene. And until recently, the sheriff says there was no protocol to check out case files, no signature needed, and no date to look back on. The sheriff thinks Lily's case file could be stashed away in a box in archives, and he's hell-bent on finding it. But if he doesn't... Are you guys worried that you guys don't know exactly what was supposed to be in there, and you're not going to be able to retrieve it all? You're not going to be able to find everything you need? Even though we can't find it, I don't think that would stop us from completing an investigation. An investigation that for now is missing several pieces to the puzzle. Crystal Gutierrez, KRQE News 13. The sheriff says they're working with state police hoping to recover documents from joint searches of the property. The department says evidence they've gathered has never pointed to a crime and no suspects have ever been named. The sheriff says he has been restructuring the department 
adding protocols for checking out case files and now using an electronic filing system.